This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 The 2K community is in shambles. Ever since the left right patch to the speed boost cheese, these playmaking shot creators don't know what to do. I played in the stage, I played against 40 level 40 playmaking shot creators, and they've been straight boxed. The 2K community is gonna be looking for a new meta build. Keep in mind, I've been using this 2A session playmaker even before it was meta. You guys are gonna start seeing more builds come out. On NBA 2K22, the mostly blue with some green pot chart, the yellow red, and in my case, this is a yellow blue two-way slash and playmaker. The build video is on the channel. I'll link in the description down below if you want to check it out. I'll probably do an updated build video on all my builds once we get closer to Christmas as new people start to get the game as well. I'm gonna show you guys some clips of us in the stage just going crazy with the homie Koza and the homie Pin. And yeah, man, I'm gonna show you guys the progression on my two-way session playmaker. You guys can see I'm a 92 overall. And then as far as my progression goes, you guys can see this is a yellow-blue pot chart. You don't see this pot chart very often in NBA 2K22. We get contact dunks off rip at 97 overall. That gives us an 88 driving dunk, which will allow us to get the Michael Jordan dunk package, which is extremely OP. That dunk package is basically unblockable. And then we have a 65-3. As we hit 99, that'll go up. And then um, we can still spark up if left open with this build from anywhere around the, around the three-point line. So yes, you can definitely shoot with this build. We have an 86 ball control off rip with max wingspan. So we're able to do all the glitchy drill moves. And you guys can see we have high 80 stats as far as our defense goes. So this is a really good all-around build. And then these are my badges that I'm rocking on my two-way session playmaker because people always be asking. This is what I'm rocking for my finishing. This is what I'm rocking for my shooting as of right now. I need to get the rest of my shooting badges. I know once I do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep Sniper on gold. I'm going to change Hot Zone Hunter to silver. And then I'm going to keep Stop and Pop on silver. And then I'm going to use Lucky 7 on silver as well. And then Green Machine on bronze or maybe Catch and Shoot on bronze. It really depends. This is what I'm rocking for my playmaking badges. So yeah, man. And then this is what I'm rocking for my defense. And then, yeah, so um, this is my two-way session playmaker and we've been going straight crazy in the stage. So this is what the comp stage is looking like right now. You guys see I'm on my two-way session playmaker running with the homie Pin and the homie Koza. We going against a level 40 overall playmaking shot creator. You guys already know the normal meta for the stage and you guys are going to see that this play shot is going to be in a straight box you guys know that before season three's update to the left right speed boost i'm sure this dude was getting buckets but now this dude can barely score you guys are going to see pin is going to have this dude in a straight box i'm not even going to lie lock if you're a good lockdown it's your time to shine and it's kind of crazy how one, how 2K can nerf one move and everybody is just clamped. I mean, I don't know. You guys can see, like I've been saying, I'm able to dribble the exact same way because I never abuse the left-right speed boost mechanic. Like, you guys see, this dude wants a left-right so bad, bro, and he just can't. He just can't. A lot of people are saying that um, it's a terrible update, where the case may be. In my opinion, this is one of the best patches 2K ever came out with, bro because everyone played the exact same way 
everyone was a playmaking shot creator, and then they would just speed boost left right until they got open. It would make the casual player look like a god, and it was almost impossible to come into the stage and win consistently if you did not have a playmaking shot creator, because it was extremely hard to stop the three. So whenever we would come to the stage with this lineup that you're seeing right here, it was hard to get threes off, so even if we scored all twos, it was hard to stop them from getting threes, if that makes sense. But now, with the the patch to the speed boost from left to right, we can actually come to stage and go crazy. You guys see our defense is amazing. Ken is the go to lockdown. He's on a two-way tempo pusher, which is a red-yellow. Koza is on a playmaking glass cleaner, which is also a red, a red lit, yellow. And the defense is going crazy. And you can still speed boost. Like everyone acts like that the dribbling is slow now. It's really not. To speed boost now, you have to go straight. You can't just zigzag anymore. Because if you zigzag, as you guys see, you're gonna move extremely slow. So now if you wanna score, you're gonna have to learn some combos. Like you guys see the combos that I be doing. Sometimes I get glitchy with it, sometimes I just make simple moves. Whatever the case may be, it just depends. But yeah, man. In my opinion, this has been one of the best patches 2K has ever came out with, and for me, it's actually made the game fun again. And as far as this 2 way slash and playmaker goes, you guys see we're in the stage with it and we're going crazy. You can do all the glitchy drill moves, and this is a blue-yellow pot chart. Like I said, I'm 6'5", and I have the longest wingspan. You guys see we're going for clips in the stage. I'm going to adopt the corner because this is the only hope. The only way they're going to stop on us is if they leave the, the corner wide open and we miss and everybody on the court right now has under a 73 ball and we still able to shoot consistently from the corner and from the top of the key it just really depends but i feel really bad for this playmaker shot crater bro i'm not gonna lie this dude is in a straight box and he gets he actually gets graded out of the game He was cold for most of the game. Of the game. You guys see, he knew what he was doing. He was a level 40 overall playmaking shark creator. And that just shows how bad 2K nerfed playmaking shark creators in general. And in my opinion, you love to see it. But yeah, man, if you want to make a fun build that will probably be meta, that can do everything around the court, the two-way session playmaker that you see, the blue-yellow pod chart, plays defense, can shoot when left open, contact dunks and dribble like crazy fast longest swing spin and yeah man this is one of the best overall builds especially now on nba 2k22 ever since the playmaking shot crater nerf i still have my 2a pass first wing i still have my slash and playmaker as well but the playmaking shot crater meta is dead in my opinion you're going to see a lot more playmaking shot craters probably using screens but even so it's going to be really hard to get threes off but i don't know man we'll see thank y'all boys so much it's been your boy JR, and I'm out. Peace.